Between the 12 days of Christmas and everything, there have been a lot of countless people requesting deck profiles, and I can't give them the full attention that I want, but I do want to cover some of these. So I have three deck profiles we're going to condense into one video. The first one is going to be Michael Wagner's Sky Striker deck. Now, he, I, he did want me to bring up the point about playing Sky Striker going second. And this is kind of something I've been thinking about a little bit too. Like, Sky Striker getting the sixth resource is not particularly a bad thing. Um, getting that additional value card to kind of push your opponent a little bit further and make sure that you can do things. Like, one thing your deck needs to be able to do is break a board and you can go. And that's why a lot of these decks now are, like, playing stuff, like, evenly matched and things like that. So, I definitely... I do like that, and maybe it's just me. The more I play this deck going second, the more I want to cry myself to sleep. But inherently, the value that is placed on that additional card is actually pretty well worth it. Um, so that was something I wanted to point out, but he did finish 8-1 at his regional, and I wanted to cover this and give it the appropriate response that it actually deserves. Because, I mean, it's still Sky Striker, and people are still looking for ways to kind of play the deck. Obviously, your Thunder Dragon matchup isn't the best thing in the world, but call it what it is. So, we have triple copies of Ash Blossom, one Ghost Bell, and then two Ghost Ogre. Now... I've seen all sorts of combinations for hand traps, and this will go for most of you playing Sky Strikers at this current point in time. Honestly, your hand trap ratio that you're doing, like, obviously, like, a lot of people don't play these, a lot of people play evenly, but between anywhere from, honestly, six to nine hand traps is really starting to become the stabilized norm for Sky Striker at this point in time. And I, I would approach it about the same way as it actually is at this point, and just continue on along with maintaining that path. We have triple copies of Stry Sky Striker, Ray, and then we have the simple package of two Foolish Grail Goods, one Metal Foes Fusion, very standard, along with one Reinforcement of the Army. And then, of course, Triple Shared Ride. We have to have something to make the Sky Striker Mirror more tolerable. Because I've seen the Mirror be such a shit show for fucking everybody that it's actually kind of disgusting. So this does help things. And then, of course, we have two Area Zero. I mean, nothing really too explanatory needed there. One copy of Afterburners and one copy of Jamming Waves. A lot of people would cut Jamming Waves, but like having it as another back row removal is not a shitty bad option. Um, a lot of people also playing two Eagle Booster, but I think you can get away with one. Something to cut if you really want to. One copy of Hornet Drones, one copy of Shark Cannon. Of course, triple copies of Widow Anchor, triple copies of Multi Roll. This feels very heavy to me, but I can understand it logically. And then, of course, we have triple copies of Engage, two copies of Terraforming, two copies of Twin Twister, one Upstar Goblin, and triple Infinite Impermanence. Honestly, main deck looks very good. Um, I, I like two Twin Twister. That actually is pretty good. Multi roll, I understand for more of a heavy mirror match. Uh, the extra deck's pretty staple. Triple Shizuku, triple Kagari, triple Hayate, one Nin Nin, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Cerberus, one Clara and Rushka, and one Boral Sword for the OTK generator. Very, 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 very standard, actually. Side deck, triple Prankatops. Okay. Ghost Ogre, triple Gamma, one Driver. Additional hand traps for rotation. I mean, some matchups you'll have to kick this out. Triple copies of Mind Control, one Twin Twister, and triple Heavy Storm Duster. Wrapping this up. Honestly, more of a standardized deck for the most part, but I do like the inclusion of the Ghost Bell for the techie hand trap option, honestly. So, not bad. Moving on along, we have a Mech Knight Invoked list. Now, this is from the previous regional season, literally the week before the ban list kicked in. I wanted to cover this because, like most decks, like a lot of people are like, oh no, Mech Knights, they're dead. I, I've been, even been saying like this engine is slowly getting power creeped, but for the most part, people still believe in this deck, and they still have the core. So this is a deck profile saying, hey, still, look at the engine. Don't be a derp to derp and just be like, oh, yeah, I can't play this anymore. Give it a shot. You should still be able to top 32 a regional with ease with this deck. So we have triple copies of Alistair, the Invoker, triple copies of Ash Blossom, triple copies of Droll, two copies of Effect Valor. Very, very hand trap heavy. We have eight in the main deck to kind of, er, actually, it's more than that. I forgot about the Ghost Bells. So yeah, playing 10 hand traps to ensure that we can fundamentally play and engage in the game that we see fit. Now we have two copies of Blue Sky, 
one indigo eclipse, triple purple nightfall, one red moon, and one yellow star. Uh, pretty standardized for the package, especially if you're playing yellow and red. I don't see any qualms here. And we have triple instant fusion, triple invocation, triple meltdown, triple mind control, triple desires, one hornet drones, two terraforming, and triple twin twister. First off, triple of this and triple of this, whether or not it be tech choices, is extreme. But to the extremity is a reward system as well because you want to see these cards. Moving your opponent's monster out of the way as you can kind of stabilize and start setting up your combos, like literally this plus any monster in your deck literally gets you to Alistair the Invoker. If your opponent puts two monsters on the field, feel free to activate two mind controls and just move them on out of the way so that you can start playing the game. <laughs> Seems fair, right? I love free cards. And of course we have one copy of Underclock Taker in the extra deck, one Trisbania, one Kagari, one Link Karibo, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Decode, one Boralod, one Alistair, one copy of Thousand Eyes, Erasian, Pergatrio, two Makaba, one Kokaitis, and one Caligula. In the side deck, two Brankatops, one of our boy Effect Baylor, two Ghost Ogi, triple Book of Eclipse, triple Shared Ride, two Red Reboot, and two Solemn Strike. Like I said, People need to understand, like, yes, the Invoked Engine is starting to show its power creep. We understand this. But as a going second deck, and if you get the opportunity to go second, all day in your potentially worst matchups are just slightly unbreakable boards. The U-Lock is dead, for the most part. But having this deck be able to do its thing is still very good, and I do appreciate seeing this still fundamentally work. So for those of you out there that are like, huh, I kind of want to try this, here you go. Here's, here's some Mech Knight love. Now, the last list I have for you is a little bit more spice. This is just kind of something that was thrown my way for generalized testing purposes. So for those of you that do like a little bit of zombie danger in your life, here is a little crazy spin on the concept. Give, give it a whirl. We have triple copies of Dark Greffer, one copy of Armageddon Knight, triple copies of Vision Hero Vion, and triple copies of Summoner Monk. We have two copies of Matley Man, two Silent Boots, one Ancient Cloak, one Zephy, one Netherworld Banshee, one copy of Baldrock. We have two Mizuki, one copy of Unizombie, triple Nessie, triple Suchinoko, two Jackalope, and triple Ash Blossom with triple Distrudo with one Mare Mare. Typically the same thing you're going to be seeing with most of the decks now. Like It's kind of funny. The Mare Mare engine has kind of become a stabilized norm now going second. Like, just feel free to unload on your opponent because of Mare Mare. It's, it's, it's kind of stupid, actually. This is the value you get. And then, of course, we have one Zombie World, one copy of Living Fossil, one Different Dimension Reincarnation, one Autonomous Action Unit, one Divine Sword, and one copy of Overdone Burial. Uh, you're packing five equips for just standard Soul Day plays for uh, whatever you kind of want to set up. One copy of Rota, I mean, mandatory staple. One copy of Foolish Burial. One copy of Soul Charge. Copy of Monster Reborn. One World Legacy Succession. I love Monster Reborns. Triple Called by the Grave. Absolutely. One copy of Twin Twister. Triple Lure Darkness. Two Instant Fusion. One Hornet Drones. And then we have one Shade Brigadine. Two copies of Fog Blade. I mean, these ratios, to me, they look a little bit more standard on paper. Then we have one Ragin. One Yazi, one Boral Sword, one Topological Gumblar Dragon. Mmm, I love wind conditions. The card's so broken. And this course, we have one Summon Sorceress, one copy of Rusty um, Tin Can Man, one Unicron, one Cerberus, one Phoenix, one Isolde, one Vampire Sucker, one Space Insulator, one Reproticus, one Kagari, and one Link Krebo. Side deck, we have triple Prankatops, two Ghost Bell. Two Twin Twisters, two Rivalry, one Imperial Order, two Evenly, and triple Red Reboot wrapping up this masterpiece. Like I said, we have uh, the regionals and stuff that have been going on, like everybody's getting their invite and things like that. Like, give these lists a shot. Explore, 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 test new ideas. 
everybody out there has something that's working for them. It might not work for you, but seeing in your ideas supported might encourage you to test them a little bit more than other builds. So what do you guys think about these lists? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And well, guys, that's all I have for this video. Do serene. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.